we go. Yeah. Are we on? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us again for our second week, our second video coming out here right now. For all the people that subscribe, like this page, I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We like the fact that you liked our videos, and we want to keep making them to entertain you. For all you people that haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Come on now. You want to follow us, trust me, the videos are only going to get bigger, badder, and better. And more frequently. So make sure you join us every single other two weeks to come watch one of our raw deals. Because that's what we do. We do the raw deal. Everything we do is raw, unscripted. There is absolutely no script towards this. This is just me and the crew that I have working so diligently behind the camera to help me do what we got to do. Alright, so first off, I want to start this week off with a somber note. I'd like to uh, take my hat off in all respect for uh, the men and women of Fort McMurray that have uh, the first responders that have been out there, have been working tirelessly, endlessly, day and night, putting their lives on the line to fight the wildfires in Fort McMurray. I just want to say thank you. Half of us out here can't do that job and the other half of us are probably too scared to. But if it wasn't for you, we would have lost thousands of more lives and probably thousands of more homes. The, tra the travesty out in Fort McMurray is absolutely incredible. The smoke can be seen all the way from outer space. It is absolutely a national tragedy. And uh, once again, I'd just like to take my hat off to all you first responders, tip it, and say thank you very much for everything that you do for us. Second off, the one thing really quickly as the video is still rolling behind me, this is absolutely insane. If you can see some of the devastation that's happened in Fort McMurray over the last week, I personally know people that have been affected by this, that work out on the rigs out there and live in Fort McMurray. And uh, my heart and soul and prayer goes out to all of you guys out there. And uh, I hope things get recuperate and get f better faster and everything comes back to normal and you can get your lives back. Another note, guys, this week, I'm also wearing a purple shirt to honor the one and only, the man who graced us with his presence, walking this earth and gave us some of the greatest music of all time, one of the greatest performers and musicians that have ever walked on this earth, Prince himself. I know it's been three weeks, but rest in peace, brother. You gave us the best times of our life. All right, first up, we've got on the thing, we've got gamers. Gamers, gamers, gamers. And what you think I'm going to talk about? You're wrong. I'm not talking about people playing video games. I'm not talking about people liking video games, buying video games, or kids playing them where we want to smack them to get them off the video games. I'm talking about the people that make the video games. These guys work 80 plus hours a week. They take their work home with them. It's tireless. You've got to spend thousands of dollars just to get an education to understand this stuff. And the, the technology is changing every single year and you gotta stay above the curve they've got this coming up black ops black ops uh, with everything ghost recon it's constantly changing every single year well we've got companies out there that think it's unfair to pay these guys what they're already getting paid all they say is that they push a mouse around it can't be that hard of a job I'll let you know this from my personal experience in college when I went to college I had to take an HTML class and it wasn't for one of my classmates helping me out for about a month straight, twice a week, I probably would have failed that class horrifically. It is incredibly hard to write code. It is not just a page. It's not a paragraph. I'd rather write my own personal memoirs than to write a code for a game. Let alone think about it. Hours, they don't get fair pay. And they're just saying that, oh, pushing a mouse around can never be considered hard work. Guys, this is an art form. These guys deserve more than anything that I can see. This is incredibly hard. Their pay should not be salarized. They should be able to work what they need to work. There's only one place in the world where you can do code and make stuff that is an environment that everyone wants to work in and that's, let's be honest, Google. We've all seen the movies, we've all seen the behind the scenes. Apparently it is the most wonderful place to work at and I hope that I can visit it one day but we'll see. Let's be honest though, this stuff is increasingly hard. To stay above the curve, think about how many iPhones are released every year. Well, think about the hundreds of thousands of dollars of video games that are released every single year and purchased for $79.99. That's an online purchase. You don't even actually have anything physical in your hands to hold and call yours. It's loaded to your system, whether it be a PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One. It doesn't really matter what system you're using or if you're on a PC. This is what you're paying for. $79.99, $79.99, $74.99, $73.99. Look at this stuff. This is incredible. And thousands upon thousands of people are purchasing these games. Not only purchasing them, they're going out at 12 midnight 
lining up just to get the newest release. These companies are making millions of dollars off of their art. And not, I don't mean the company's art, I mean their art. So make sure that we get behind these guys, make sure we show them the support they need, because they deserve it. Alright guys, so the second topic we're going to get on top of here is my holy grace, the NFL Draft for 2016. And this gentleman right here, Laramie, I want to say Tunsil, dropped 15 spots as the number one draft pick or one of the contenders for the number one draft pick in the NFL for this. This is what you call a $7 million bong hit. And the reason why it's called a $7 million bong hit? Because that's what it costed them for falling 14 spots in the pick. Let's be honest. All it is is smoking a little weed. And this wasn't done anywhere in particular. This was done in college. Now, I want you all to look at yourself and think, hey, tell me you didn't do some stupid ass shit in college. Let's be realistic. We all did some stupid ass shit. And there's hundreds of NFL players that do stupider shit every single year. Hernandez! Guilty of killing somebody. Woo! There's one. How about all the drunk driving, domestic assault? How about the uh, everything, partying outside, uh, disturbances, uh, impaired driving, crashing your cars? This guy blew off two of his fingers. One of the rookies for the New York Giants. Receiving core. Come on, really? Playing with fireworks. I thought we learned that when we were like eight. And another thing on top of this. This gentleman who smoked that bong hit dropped 14 spots in the pick. 14 spots. Just name a few of the teams that passed up on him. We've got the Bears. We've got the Giants, which have their own past history. We have multiple other teams. We have the Ravens. We have on top of that, we have the Rams. We have the 49ers. That's just to name a few. The Jaguars. All these guys passed up on them. And the team that picked him was the Miami Dolphins. And we'll get right back to that one. Because the video playing behind me right now is Ray Rice's video that was exposed of him knocking out his girlfriend or wife in the elevator and then dragging her unconscious body out. Now, mind you, the Baltimore Ravens did the right thing. He's never stepped back on the field as a Baltimore Raven again. But let's be honest. NFL players do more stupider shit every single season that they have off than this guy did in college, taking a hit from a bong that was a mask. Marijuana. That was it. That is all he did. And to get back to the point I was just at, the team that picked him up? The Miami Dolphins. The team that let Ricky Williams go because he smoked weed. Think about that one. Alright, last but not least, I read this somewhere this week and it just killed me. I thought I was reading a sploof, a funny article or something like that. This is... Indiana's first official Baby Drop-Off Box! Let's give it up to Baby Drop-Off Boxes everywhere! Yay! Like we're returning a fucking VHS tape. Let's be honest, it's not the 90s, not the 60s, it's 2016. There's multiple ways for you to use contraceptives to avoid getting pregnant. And I understand there are circumstances where you cannot have a child, but there's millions of loving families out there that would love to adopt the kids instead of you treating it like a VHS tape or a DVD, going back to Blockbuster and dropping it off at a fire hall. It's a box with a bed in it that alerts them that a baby has been dropped off. Here, I've got a couple other things that you could do to avoid using this baby box in Indiana and before this explodes all over the United States and North America and Europe and the world. First off, get off your back. Second off, keep your legs closed, maybe. The morning after pill. How about the word that nobody likes to say? Shushmarshin. Unfortunately, I know not a lot of people like them, but they do exist out there, and it is an option if it's your last option. Or, how about adoption? Millions of people can't have babies and would kill to have one, but instead, why don't you go through the nine agonizing months of morning sickness, uh, hormonal changes, breast uh, swelling up, your body getting fat, stretch marks, Everything that you got to go through as a woman to have a child to do nothing but what? Have the baby come out and drop it off in this box? Come on. There's got to be easier ways. If there was a hundred different things that I had to do to do something to avoid having to have my fingers chopped off, I would probably do that. Or having my leg chopped off. Or anything else like that. Let's be honest here. There's multiple things that you can do to avoid having to have one of these put in your community. 
It's absolutely ridiculous, guys. I don't think I have to say much more to this. It is fucking stupid. Just use contraceptives, or if you're going to have a baby, make sure you, you give it up for adoption to somebody who wants it and deserves it. Every child has the right to do whatever they need to do. It's not their fault that you made the mistake and brought them into this world. All right, guys. So like I said, make sure you keep sending us any kind of messages you want. Comment on the on the YouTube channel. Upload if you have something you've done that's stupid, crazy, or anything else like that. A home video. I don't even care. Send it to me. I would love to be able to see it. Maybe even chat about it if you find something. Because if it wasn't for you guys videotaping and posting everything online, I wouldn't have anything to make fun of every other week. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next week.